Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm Rob from RobNonFoto.com and today we're going to be having a quick look at a new for Android anyway photo editing app called um, Snapseed um, and it's been written by Nick Software who were recently acquired by Google and it's probably one of the best photo editing apps available out there for, for your uh, Android mobile phone and even better it's free so you can go to the Google Play Store now, now um, and download it and it's got all those features that we really want in a photo editing app or I want anyway we've got um, cropping rotating uh, it works with full-size images it's fast it's got nice subtle effects great black and white uh, conversions with filters it's got heavy duty filters as well so you can get that grunge look so you can be very very subtle if you want with your photo conversions or you can be very very heavy handed what we'll do in a second is we'll just have a quick look at uh, the app kind of in action um, and then I'll share a few more words at the end of the video and then right at the end there'll be a load of uh, demo uh, images for you to have a look at to see the sort of things um, that you can get up to so let's have a quick look at the app okay so let's have a look at Snapseed um, in action what I'm using here is the uh, Google Samsung Galaxy Nexus uh, phone so it's running the latest version of Android um, and obviously you could jump straight into the app or probably the way you're going to use it is you're going to going to be in the um, you're going to be in your gallery say looking at photos and then you'll see one and then you want to work on it so what you do is you hit the share button and then you then hit Snapseed and that will take you straight into the app so what we're really interested in actually is what we can see sort of down here on the bottom and there's automatic adjust where you can get the get the app to make automatic adjustments which you can then fine tune we can do selective adjust which is that one we can tune the image so these are global changes and the way it kind of works is you slide your finger up and down to go between say brightness ambient contrast saturation white balance say brightness and then you just go left and right to change it how easy is that and then if you like the change hit the tick and that will then kind of save that temporarily um, we haven't. I don't think we've actually saved it to the to the phone yet, but we've kind of baked in that adjustment so we can apply lots and lots of filters. Let's have a quick look at selective adjust. So what we can do with selective adjust, we can choose a point and then make it bigger. And I don't. And you can probably can you can you see that the way it's just selecting the sky, but probably can you see it in between my fingers the fact that it's not selecting the church. How amazing is that? So we can select the sky. And then once we've got it, we can then say, well, let's turn down the brightness just in the sky. And can you see that? I'm changing to turn down the brightness in the sky. Or maybe you want to turn up the contrast in the sky. Bit, bit, bit difficult to see. But there, that's a great example of a selective adjustment without having to mask anything off, without having to select anything using Nick's control point software. So, straighten. I mean, how long have we waited for a really decent straighten tool so you can straighten and then crop your image nice and easy to use nice and fast and again click the tick and that will save it that way we can crop it and if you select there we've got one to one square nice rule of thirds grid pops up on the screen um, three to two four to three five to four seven to five sixteen by nine wide, wide screen you know all this stuff that we can play around with um, you know, to, 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 to actually cre easily crop our images. I quite like this one, so I'm not going not to crop it that way. Details. Here we have Nick's Fable structure. So you basically, structure is just a bit like a kind of smart sharpening. Um, it brings out local contrast in a way that doesn't really add lots of grain. can make your pictures look very dynamic, but again, try not to overdo things. As you see, it's incredibly fast as well. Let's make a quick black and white. We can just apply filters like you would um, say in Photoshop or Nick's stuff. 
you apply a green filter, yellow, orange, red, loads of different effects. Or we can go into loads of presets here, dark and sky, film, dark, loads of easy things to play with. Now I'm not going to apply that though, so we're going to look at some other stuff as well. Vintage, so you want that old Polaroid look, you want um, the look of a like cross-process film. Click on the favourites and we can quickly nip through and there's loads of presets there or we can actually make our own style and fine adjust it on the screen. We can add a vignette. We can um, adjust the kind of the <laughs> the style of it, see how we're just changing it in the middle and darken it around the outside, how good is that and all of a sudden you, you're starting to get really powerful um, adjustments um, but let's have a look We, we could, you kind of saw a bit of a texture on that one but if we go into, we've got grunge now as well, so grunge is you can really make some interesting things with this and just by moving your finger off the screen the, the, the program is changing the, the, the different colours and the different aspects of the photograph and you might be able to see there's textures so we can change different textures the texture we apply we can spin around randomly and change so we get a really nice random effect so we don't end up with loads of photos looking the same um, and again we can just, just play around and then if we go up and down we can say right let's strengthen the style let, let's try a different style the texture strength, let's, let's, really, let's really make that dirty or really kind of weaken it off that way. You've got total control. Drama. This creates kind of um, HDR looking photos. Nice and easy if you like that sort of thing. You know, one click adjust and there we go. We've got like a faux HDR effect. Let's keep going, see what else we've got. Um, tilt shift <laughs> doesn't really work on this particular image because. Um, it kind of uh, you've got to be looking down but it's there and you can do like a, a tilt shift like that or you can do it the other way um, center focus is a good one so you know we, we all know we can move the, the point around which the focus does it across there we all know that one of the problems with camera phones and compacts is that the depth of field is massive but with this particular program what you can then do is, is blur everything Ooh. So let's go to blur strength. And we're really blurring the outside. So imagine you've taken a portrait of somebody, you can get that short depth of field look. Um, we had grunge frames, so we can now add various different frame styles. Again, click on the favorites. We can go through different ones. And then what we can do is within that, we can then change the width or the offset like that, very 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 very, actually in fact let's keep that frame very very easy to do um, so there we go Snapseed fantastic piece of software um, oh and then obviously at the end you can then save it you can share it on Google Plus um, to, I tend to like saving it, once you've saved it locally you could then go back into your gallery and then share it to Facebook, Instagram, Flickr, that sort of thing an incredibly powerful program um, and as I say, finally, we've got another one, apart from um, a vignette that actually handles full-size photographs as well and saves them at the full resolution, that's got all those things we want, that's got cropping, that's got straightening, it's got some really powerful tools, but for me, you know, a really winner is these really nice black and white adjustments that you can work through as well. Um, just superb and it's incredibly fast. So there we go, Snapseed, um, a really, really nice photo editing app that's free and it's on your Google uh, Android phone. So, as you can see, Snapseed is incredibly powerful. Um, I've only been using it for a few days and I've got to say that it is, I would almost call it revolutionary in the control it can give you. It's up there with the, you know, some of the best stuff. Well, some of the stuff you can get for your for your desktop and your laptop as well. But it's so easy and intuitive um, to use. As a kind of a final thought, though, what I would say is that it's very easy to go too far with all the photo editing apps. It's very easy to be heavy-handed with your photo editing. It's very easy to add lots of textures, too much detail, too much sharpening, crazy colours. Um, 
And although it might look really cool now and when you share it to Flickr or Facebook or Instagram, you may think, oh wow, after a while you might start to consider that um, maybe you, you, you might have wanted to tone it down a little bit. So guess what I'm saying is don't get rid of your original files because you might find that in six months time you want to re-look at them again and maybe go for um, a slightly different conversion. But until then, go over to the Google Play Store, grab a copy of Snapseed. You're really, really going to love it. And what you'll see now at the uh, end of the video is just some photos that I've quickly worked on just to give you an idea of some of the, some of the effects that you can get um, with Snapseed for Android. Thank you.